The day has arrived. It is Patron Day at La Land. And I'm having a great start to the day because Andrew is in the kitchen with Stuart downstairs and he's just sent up what has been described as cheesy, eggy bread. Words fail me in describing how delicious this is. And that's probably because on closer inspection, I've realised it's actually cheesy, eggy croissant. Probably best not to think about the calories right now, but I've got a big day ahead of me. I need strength. Mr Potts is already looking tremendously busy, doing something tremendously important. Everyone's in a flurry of excitement getting ready on the back lawn. All of the tables are done. Though, to be honest, we don't have the best view of it from here. I'm going to go down and show you all. So many of our friends have come to help us host. So as many of us as possible have come here to meet all of the patrons and getting very excited. Also, I have heard a rumour that the pastries have arrived downstairs. I mustn't forget my timetable. Philip's given everyone a timetable. As you can see, I'm going to be in the winter salon sitting and chatting to everybody with Tatinette and Jerry. And this is the master timetable. So the groups will be arriving between a chat with me in the winter salon, a tour of the chateau with Philip, a tour of the woods with Nick, a tour of the garden with Pavlina and Ombeline, a concert by Maria in the music room, a flower arranging session with Marie in the bread oven room, and a chat with Amory about his beautiful panelling in the Marquis' sitting room, and a chat with Andy about her incredible art in the Marquis' bedroom. These are the people who are in charge of different groups, and so I will see each of their groups at those times. What could possibly go wrong? I just saw a car arriving. The first guests have arrived. It's so weird for all of us not having Percy here doing the car parking and organising all of the outside space. He was such an integral part of it last year. But he has been in the group chat sending instructions. So, Percy, we're on it. All the final touch. Now we're putting out Jared's beautiful banner. What did we do last year? Um, I think we attached it at the bottom here. We put it down there last year. Mm. Did we not? Did we? I don't remember. Well, that seems to that? work. All right, I'm going to go down. Okay. I think um, probably a little pastry is very much needed. Mm. Good morning, sir. Oh, I see it really is all hands on deck. Good morning. Renee's doing a cracking job up until the last minute. Yes. I need a cup of tea. And I've just been told that there's been a last minute change to the timetable. Oh, yeah. And my new timetable is here somewhere. Good morning. Good, morning. Good, morning. Good, morning. Good to morning. see you're still in charge here today, Gerald. Yeah. And <laughs> my clan ancestors are calling. <laughs> oh, what delicious things are Oh, happening. no, this is just pasta. This is, <laughs> that's a, there's nothing this just beautiful about or pasta. delicious. Yeah, this is just no. pasta. This looks These delicious. These are some gigantic uh, croutons that I made in um, herbs de Provence, a lot of herbs straight from the garden. And I did this in a leek olive oil that I made yesterday. So they have mm. leek pungent. Throughout. You know, you're, leak. you're going to get a gold star. <laughs> you know, I would rather have a Michelin star. I bet they were just saying to me last night how patient. Me and Stuart are coming at the end of the season to do all your herbs into little freezer bags. Ooh. We're going to come and chop because you've got. This is pineapple basil. No, sage. Sage. Pineapple, pineapple sage. sage. I it's forgot I had it. Yes, indeed, I was oh, there when it was. This genius who keeps bringing. Where were the flowers? Come with me. Hello, I mean, you look beautiful. Thank you. She's our garden fairy. <laughs> so I hear that uh, Andrew's delighted by the things you keep bringing in from the garden. Yeah. This is why I'm delighted. Wow. Look at this. Yeah, it doesn't get much better than that. Thank you. This is all edible. Yeah. I behave yourself, you don't eat that. You do. It's going on your lamp. <laughs> Butty later. Tonton Stephen, very smart. Very I'm glad to see you busted out the poodle. Oh, for indeed. Yes. Yeah. day. Came out the kennels. <laughs> no problems. No. Oh, should I taste a bit of this to check it's okay? Yes. Yeah, you can't be to. too careful, can you? The crispy end bits. We're saving Absolutely. Jerry for a sandwich later. Jerry himself? <laughs> no. Yes, no, no, no. Yeah. Not a of it. Just a part. That won't be much of a filling. <laughs> good morning, Dave. Good morning. How are you? I'm fine, thank you. How are you? Oh, very good, thank you. Good to see you in here. All is under control when you're here. You ready for a different day? I am, actually. I'm really looking forward to it. Well, I get to sit and have a chat with everyone all day, so I have a great day. I'm looking forward to it. Excellent. I see that more leaks have arrived. The plumbers are arriving. 
Somebody oh, told me we've got a leak. This is going to be a very, very long day, isn't it? I just realised that now. I'm not going to pretend that this came from the garden. I'm going to be honest, that. <laughs> so clearly we didn't have enough basil. But uh, Stuart's been confeeing leaks like there's no tomorrow. Oh, the tables look so pretty. And finally, Philip justifies the purchase of that enormous set that he bought of porcelain. We have enough plates for everybody. This is a very proud moment, especially for me and Philip, because occasionally it has been said that maybe we have too much porcelain, but justification right here. Looking one way, we can see the place where there used to be the lake and where there will be the lake again. On the other side, there's the chateau with some chairs that we still need to move. This way, we're looking at the blasted cedar. And out here, there's a gorgeous view of the chapel. Hello, everybody, and happy Patron Day. Thank you so much for being here. I don't think Lalan would be the same without you and your massive support. So from the bottom of my heart, Thank you. I am doing a make your own posy uh, pop up stand today outside the bread oven room and I'm going to show you how that looks like. So I set up a little bit of a bouquet station. We're almost about to start. And the bread oven room is looking very empty, but I the weather is so beautiful. So how can we not be outside in this lovely, lovely little <laughs> back garden? So yeah, this is how it looks like right now. <laughs> we have a little bit of flowers from Jean Baptiste and um, I'm just going to go and replenish a bit from the garden. A few more dahlias, I think. This is the room where Amory will be meeting everyone so that he can talk about his panelling and how he made it and also so that he can ask all of the patrons to sign the back of this panel which is one of the panels for the Grand Salon. My goodness, it really is the perfect day for it. Michael's taking photos of the guests in front of the fountain as they arrive. All of the groups are gathering together. There's Vivian's group. I ran up to get the chapel plans because I'll be sharing those with everybody. I better get down there. Oh, Gerald, that is our ray of sunshine Stunning. today. That is the ray. Stunning. I love lemon. <laughs> <laughs> Me too. <laughs> So this is our room for the day. I am with Tatinette and Gerald and the tea set. I love your dress, Stephanie. Thank you very much. It's, a beautiful dress. it's from Austria. The two dresses beautiful. I'm wearing on the patron lovely, day are both Austrian. Beautiful. It suits you. Thank you. So I suddenly realised that we need to open the shutter. We can't do it from outside. We've tried. I think it's at the top it's stuck. This is typical, isn't it? Uh, if I go outside, Stephanie, oh. and we'll do it all at, oh, no. at the same time. Oh, hello, Dad. Hello. <laughs> What's happening? Just for you. Do you want me to pull? Uh, can you do the bottom latch from the outside? It's a two-person job. Oh, absolutely. I've got the top done. Yes. Da -da -da. Two chatelains. How are you? Good. Do you want a hand? I think I'm great. Lovely. Have you seen everyone? Yeah. Are oh, they all like, oh, I can't believe yeah. you're here. <laughs> <laughs> the joys of a chateau. I'm going to get around to film today. <laughs> <laughs> Jerry just told me that someone said um, she only watches you because she's waiting for you to fall. And, and she die, said, yeah. Yeah, on the one day she yeah. doesn't watch will be the day that you Yeah, watch. yeah. She didn't say die. She says we watch with my husband every day. She says, and I bet the one day I don't watch it will be the day you fall. <laughs> As you sounded that uh, as a please don't what fall. Yeah. <laughs> Everybody is so charming. And so many so faces many I can see people. from the window. Yes, yeah, it's you're doing something well. <laughs> we have been told that we can start. This is the guest pat show. Yes. And then we have oh my goodness, a peach salad. Uh, cucumber and radish salad. <laughs> Free lentil salad. <laughs> Potatoes from the garden. <laughs> Quinoa. <laughs> oh, cabbage. That's going to be one of my favorites. Roast lamb. I'm quite excited. Then beetroot from the garden. 
as a church pastor. Yeah, some pastor. Salmon pasta. Please. Dig in. <laughs> well, um, help yourselves. Do you want to slim it like Steph? Dig in. <laughs> I've got my gazpacho in the Mazagran, and that's why I was buying more of these recently at the Porcamp because we wanted to serve the gazpacho in it. I know it was made for a coffee drink, but why not? It's good to use these old fashioned things. They're one euro each in charity shops or in brocantes. Hello, I have heard the most beautiful music emanating from the music from room. The oh, is that what it is? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, it sounded gorgeous. <laughs> And they can have a new life with just different uses. It's perfect for gazpacho because it's very thick and it keeps it cool. This is really France, isn't it? <laughs> it's that time of the year. <laughs> <laughs> Two years in a row. Now. <laughs> this is a happy, happy time for me looking at a cheese board. Cheese board is always a happy time. <laughs> <laughs> it is, isn't it? And Oh this my god, all at the gorgeous. perfect moment to be eaten, you know, mm -hmm. just mmm. Oh, I know, it is perfection. torture. We just put oh, everything yeah. outside and now it's no, torture. Just, just, yeah, just wanna, everybody stare at the cheese. This is my favorite cheese in the entire I world. I had that yesterday. Mm -hmm. For everyone, this is called an epoise. It's like a camembert, but better. <laughs> and it just oozes over the plate. So that's why the cheese is inside right now, because it is summertime. That was the most delicious lunch. Now, Isabel, if you're watching, <laughs> she will be. Away, all the leftovers are being used, all the croissants. No mm -hmm. way, that's a morning Which, croissant. That's no, a, that was uh, the morning, that was yesterday. That was yesterday. The morning one went, that was cheese this morning. Oh, I know, because I was given a cheese croissant in bed, which I'm uh, pretty sure. It was cheese croissant on French toast. It was delicious. Bacon. This is the pumpkin. Pumpkin pie. Andrew made this. I wish you could smell this. It smells like autumn. And then it'll have like a creme Or fall later. for the Americans watching. We're going to blow torch the top mm -hmm. and it'll be creme brulee. It's flambe. I love it. Work. As you can I probably imagine, fun. it's very noisy in here because we and Stuart just talk. Just the whole time. We, <laughs> neither of us listen. And we just Dave. talk. <laughs> and Dave. He's been chit chatting. Don't pretend you can't hear him. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's time for Maria's concert. I am so excited to hear it. And for what I'm calling the grand finale, uh, I think it would be uh, wrong and just well, impossible to uh, to do a program honouring all the ladies of land without doing a special dedication to the woman behind Stephanie Charles. <laughs> of course, I mean Isabel, who although couldn't be with us today, uh, took a big part in organising uh, the patron days and it's always a pillar of support to Stephanie and to Percy and all of us here. So I thought uh, for her I needed to find a piece that displayed sufficient strength and will, but also artistic flair and pizzazz and sufficient tornado-like qualities. <laughs> so I think I found the one. And uh, if all goes well, maybe we can conjure up Isabel's presence in the room here uh, with us. So it is uh, Liszt's uh, Transcendental Etude uh, number 10. Uncanny. <laughs> We've just chatted to our last group. It has been 
just the most fun day. Has I barely seen you today? Had a wonderful time. Have you? Did your tour go well? With uh, that, by the way, not because I haven't seen you. That sounded oh, really awful. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, I've had a really wonderful day in spite of not seeing you for most. I of the did day. miss you a little bit in the winter summer, oh, but I've also had a really wonderful day. Also been very busy. This tree is the one that nearly killed Pavlina last year. She was weeding underneath it, and an entire branch came down and just fell next to her. And so Nick has decided decided that she should be the one to winch the tree down as he is cutting it. Back into it. <laughs> it's been the loveliest, loveliest day. It was just such incredibly kind people. And it's amazingly uplifting for all of us who are living here to hear what people who've been watching for a long time are saying about La Land and how it's helped them through COVID. A lot of people still talking about that period, but also how they feel when they first come here because they tend to see everything that's been done and the beauty of the place, whereas we tend to walk around seeing everything that still needs doing and that hasn't been finished yet. So it's been very, very good for the soul. I'm looking forward to tomorrow. Now I've made Stephanie video of me <laughs> after all her hard day. <laughs> this is our friend's grandmother's cheese ball from Indiana. Hang on, wait, your friend's grandmother's cheese ball yeah. from Indiana. And wheat thins that she brought last week. But hang on, did she she make the cheese ball? No, I made the cheese ball. I was gonna say, I, I was wondering bought. how long ago it had been made in Indiana. <laughs> no. <laughs> we'll get in there. <laughs> so for all if and Stuart's been telling me I'm Midwestern all day. If I get indigestion, I don't care. So hello to the Midwest. Oh, really? So good. It's worth indigestion. Come on now. Yeah. All right, so you all right, get here we go. Oh, it's covered in nuts. Oh. And then you get a wheat thin. Wheat thin, here we go. I've never yes. had a wheat thin in my life. Oh, right you're going to be addicted. Oh, wait, they're going to be hot. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's a good one. I've got to go and edit travel with my friend and pick up his day here and eat cheese. It's so good. This is, it's amazing and that's the best cracker ever been in the entire world. I have brought you some snow. Um, <laughs> <laughs> this is slow gin. Last year, we were talking oh, about right. the fact that we have uh, blackthorn bushes that produce slow berries. That is the best label, by so the way. Oh, well, thank you very much. Yeah, um, so I have created, or I, I took some gin, threw some berries in with a bit of sugar. I followed Jamie Oliver's recipe, so hopefully I did this right. Um, and it just needs to basically sit for three months. So it says on the label, do not open until November. Okay, I promise that we will not open <laughs> until November, but we'll wait for Advent. There you go, perfect. And... There's the bottle to put it back in. It needs to be strained back into the bottle. And of course I brought oh. you more. <laughs> so that we can make our own. You can make your own. Yep, there should be enough here for another two bottles. Amazing, yeah. thank you so much. My pleasure. You oh, know, I can't wait. Yeah, I mean, we're not gin drinkers, but I am making a bottle for ourselves too. It doesn't so really it. taste like gin, slow okay. gin. It's completely different. Well, I think you'll love it. We will give it a shot ourselves. I just love it. The label. Here we have the hero of the hour editing my patron day vlog, <laughs> which he has also filmed. It's very familiar to the revenge vlog that you did on me, where I had to film it. It's editing. weird how this keeps happening. It's weird, isn't it? I yeah. would like to specify, I didn't actually ask you to do this. Sure. Because you're going to try, sure. you're going to do everything you sure. can to make me look like the bad guy. Is that why you offered to do it? I've got more people on my channel to make you feel guilty. Oh, it's that. That's it. It's, it's not a competition, but... But you're winning. <laughs> So up until now, you've been watching my view of the patron days as they happened. But I leave you, ladies and gentlemen, with a Dan's eye view of Chateau de Lalande's patron days 2023.
Hello, Jerry. He's amazing. Lots in Marquis room today, which is one of the projects that uh, I undertook. That Stephanie uh, said to me, "Oh, just a little child home." So all of this timber that you can see here, which is Sapili, comes from North America, but it's been imported to Belgium. This is what uh, what came from this big lump of uh, timber that came from. So, as I found it, I'm sending pictures to Kirsty. Kirsty's sending names to me. I'm sending no, I think it's this. It's an out of debris that was down here. You couldn't see down through to the bottom path. So, we've got all the paths open on this side now. But down this side, we're trying to leave. We've got a variety of maples, ash. Yep. We've got a copper beach coming through. Because what we'd like to do is just line this side of the woodland so we get where you stood now. We've got this same archway leading down to the um, lawn area. Yeah. Um, yeah, do sit down. Two ones like you. <laughs> and would you like a cup of tea? Oh, well, there you go. <laughs> okay, so we, we spent three hours on the motorway in a broken down car. Oh, no. Rental car yesterday. Oh, so I'm very, very happy to see you. I made it. Shall I put the pocket there? At the end of the day, like, yeah, another cup of tea. <laughs> <laughs> You're really jittery. Oh, tea. Yeah. I gave you that like, Are you going to be straight? It's okay, not you know I'm doing it. It's just getting fully sitting down. Cucumbers, maybe, of course. Did you drop that? Why are you trusted with that? I was trusted with it. Yeah. So everyone can see me as if I'm sitting over here, which is a bit weird. I just wanted to say a huge thank you to all of you for completely transforming our lives. And there's really no other way of putting it that's not hyperbole. You have absol absolutely transformed the life of everybody living here. And most importantly, the life of the chateau itself, which will outlive all of us, I hope. As long as the car salon holds a little bit longer, <laughs> it will outlive all of us. But for me, it wasn't about that. It's about restoring the soul of a house as well. And that takes people. And I hope that Lalande will always be lived in. In the future as well, there'll always be people enjoying this place. And because of all of you, I get to live with the greatest group of people on the entire planet. And there are even more great people coming in every day to work with us and help us. Yes, because uh, the, re the restoration. Yeah. Or of these oh, photos oh, of the oh, my cool. Plots, uh, um, they make cars and the whole bit. And uh, you can buy those. Yeah. 
It's pretty bad. The ball's coming off it. We'll just uh, put more mulch. And why we would do this, it's only because we don't want the ground to be out of uh, any uh, protection. So we don't want it to be out of, in the rain, in the cold or in the heat. So if we put mulch, we keep moist, but we keep also uh, um, the whole ground to be flush away, you know, with the, all the nutrients. So it's going to be feeding the soil, helping the veggies. And so we try to have every single bed to be covered. Alright, well, let's follow me, we've got seconds. The 14th, 15th or 16th century. Mm -hmm. Now, I know that's a 300 year period that we're talking about. But the records were lost and uh, therefore we don't know exactly how old it is. Nowadays, the chateau is a W shape and uh, the chateau used to be a U shape. Instead of these, I think in about the 18th century, because these walls do not look 19th century. Well, so we're guessing it in century. <laughs> There, can you move around to the side? Okay, I think you're all looking. Was it brilliant? Bashing. Thank you very much. Don't forget to give back. I didn't have lunch. 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 I